Alan Flagg, mm. who is the New York Society General Semantics President and also a board member of the Institute for General Semantics. <coughs> Alan Flagg has been involved with General Semantics ever since he attended a lecture at the New York Academy of Sciences and asked to be placed on the New York Society for General Semantics mailing list 56 years ago. Since then, he's attended half a dozen or more Institute for General Semantics seminars and most of the Alfred Korzybski Memorial Lectures, has taught GS classes for IBM, the New School, Queens College, and Fairfield University, has written articles for the General Semantics Bulletin and etc., and has provided superb leadership as the president of the New York Society for General Semantics. In addition to these many accomplishments, Alan is also a Renaissance man. He is a benefactor member of the New York Roadrunners Club and has many trophies from races that he has won over the years and is vice president of FIONS, Friends of the Institute of Noetic Sciences, an organization that is very involved in working with dreams. Alan's goals regarding general semantics were published in an interview that I conducted with him in the July 2006 issue of Etc. In that interview, he stated that we need to get more people involved with general semantics and show them that GS is a multifaceted discipline that expands one's awareness of oneself in the world. If anyone can accomplish these goals, Alan can. He's been doing these things for more than five decades and to honor his hard work and commitment to GS, I would like to present Alan with the Institute of General Semantics J. Talbot Winchell Award which is given to individuals who have provided distinguished service to general semantics. And this is the award, and it reads, the trustees of the Institute of General Semantics present the 2008 J. Talbot Winchell Award to Alan Flagg in recognition of his lifelong service accomplishments and time-binding efforts, November 13, 2008. Alan, please come up here and accept the award. Marty, thanks to the Institute, and as a time-binding human being, I want to re refer to my time-binding going back, and Marty mentioned uh, New York Academy of Science, but the next thing that I did was go to the Cooper Union uh, meetings with Harry Maynard teaching general semantics, and Harry got me started in teaching 50 years ago, the, 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 fall, uh, the fall of 1958, 5-8, 50. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Harry, and, and uh, th that was teaching at a adult education course at Great Neck High School. He also got me involved in 63 at the New York, uh, New, York, um, New York University International General Semantics uh, Conference. Harry, Harry was the program chairman and I was the uh, uh, assistant to, to Harry. That was in, in 63. So along that time, I got involved with the New York Society, and not only Harry, but two other people right here in this room, Jerry Nirenberg and Frank Scardilli, were my early compatriots in the New York Society. <laughs> but right and now... Harry made it too. Well, I, I, I want people... Uh, I'm now saying that Harry Maynard was my mentor. So I want everybody to appreciate Harry's work in, in general semantics and acknowledge my, my uh, um, the, the importance of my life that Harry uh, did for me. Harry, would you raise your hand there? We're going to applaud you. Okay, Harry, you're my mentor. 
Yep. I wouldn't be here this evening if there wasn't a lot of people like you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there are a lot of people in the New York Society that, that followed Harry Maynard's uh, lead in teaching general semantics. So thank you everybody for this wonderful prize.